Let's change the TCP IP port on our network printer. Let's say that we had to change the IP address, or maybe it picked up a new IP address from DHCP, and we need to change that. So if we go to Tools, and we go to Print Management, which is there by default, you don't have to install it, then we're going to see all of our printers. So we see, in this case, we want to edit our OfficeJet 4630. You might also see the printer under a deployed printer if you have it deployed going out through group policy. So you might see it in more than one place. So now we have our printer, and if we right-click on it, and then we go to Properties, and we can go to Ports, and there's our IP address. So all we have to do is click on Add Port, change this to Standard TCP IP Port, click New, Next, And I'm just thinking that this is the new IP address of our printer. It's going to go ahead and try to communicate with it, so it might take a little bit of time as it goes through the motions with communication. We'll choose the generic network card, which is already there, and click Finish. And now we'll click Close. So now what we do is we see we have two different ports, so we have to assign this to the other port. Now when I click on the other port, it actually disappears from the first port. So I can go back and forth from one to the other until I find the port that I want and click Apply. You're not going to be able to select more than one port unless you enable printer pooling, which is a whole other conversation. So now what we can do is we can delete the old port if we don't need it anymore. Now the problem is, is that you have to select it without actually uh, checking the box for the port that you want to delete. So if you click too close to it, it's going to check it. We don't want that. So you have to right click on the port instead of left click on the port and then it won't uh, get in the way. So now we can click on delete port and the port's now gone. Click close and we've successfully changed the IP address on our printer. And that works in Windows Server 2019, 2016, 2012, 2008, and 2003. So it should be able to cover all of the modern Windows Server operating systems. Although in versions older than 2012, you will have to go through Control Panel and then open up your Printers folder and then right-click on your printer, go to Printer Properties, and then there's Ports. And then you just do the same thing. You add the port that you want, you get the wizard that comes up, and then delete the port that you want to get rid of.